Good morning, hot dogs. Welcome to the morning announcements. Sports, Mardi Gras night, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Reminder, you can get your Mardi Gras gear in the comments in the morning to support to support your hot dogs for Friday's football home football game. For lunch today, lines 1 and 2 will be cheeseburgers, lines 3 and 4 will be chicken strips. Tomorrow's lunch will be lines 1 and 2 chicken smackers, lines 3 and 4 taco smack, snack. <laughs> now to sports and weather. Good morning, hot dogs. It must have been chilly this morning with it being 63 degrees. In the afternoon, it will go up to 79 degrees, and later tonight, it will go down to the lows of 60 degrees. Bundle up because it's going to be windy today with the winds being over 10 miles per hour all day. Now to Elijah with sports. Thank you, David. Last night, the Frankfurt Hot Dog Boys soccer team traveled to Lebanon for conference play. In the JV match, Brian, I meant Frankfurt score first when Brian Sarabia put a shot in the back of the net. Lebanon will answer with their own goal in the half to Larson the game to halftime, tied 1-1, one one, which, which would be the final score. In the varsity match, Lebanon took an early lead in the first half. The Dogs and the Tigers continue trading excellent opportunities back and forth with no results for either team until Gail Hernandez passed the ball to my man, Avery Hernandez, who finished by getting the ball into the back of the net. Score was tied 1-1 to -one at halftime and remained that way for the first part of the second half. Senior Yobani Trinado found an open Gail Hernandez who scored the go-ahead goal for Frankfurt midway through the second half. The Frankfurt defense held firm as Lebanon made a late offensive surge, giving the Hot Dogs the win. Frankfurt is now 3-3 on season and 2-0 conference play. Frankfurt hosts the Eastern Comets on Thursday with kickoff at 5.30 at home. The girls golf team took on Dan Danville on Tuesday night, or last night. Emily Shipley played well and shot 44. Awesome job, Emily. The boys soccer match with North Montgomery has been scheduled for Monday, September 27th, this will be part of a varsity girls and boys doubleheader. As the girls soccer team will be taking on the Western Boone Stars at 5.30. The boys will approximately follow at around 7 at home. Due to the COVID issues with the JV volleyball team at West Lafayette, there will be no JV game tomorrow. The varsity will still play and their match will be at 7 p.m. in Case Arena. The volleyball match with Norm Montgomery has been scheduled to Tuesday, September 21st at 6 p.m. Tipton will not be playing this year due to the necessary of rescheduling conference game with North Montgomery. That, oh, the Hot Dogs had a new look yesterday as the tennis team feels seven player lost here. The team made great adjustments to their new position at two doubles. Jackson Ray and Izzy Jimenez really started to figure out things as they're able to start moving the ball and hitting winners. One double, Eli Grasham and Elijah West, also, as new partners, were also developing some rhythm to their game and finished strong at the end of their match. Edwin Wayne Scott did a terrific job playing his first match. He had several winning shots and showed improvement as the match went on. Aiden Hudspeth had another heartbreaker at three singles. With a tiebreaker and come from behind play in the second set, Aiden be is becoming a tough player and developing grit and heart that is needed when the, guy, when the good game gets tight. Good job, guys. Now, back to your hosts. Also, a reminder, coach kids are available to those in need of help with school for those who want to get their grades up and or their GPA increased and also want to get all their credits. Thank you guys for joining us. That will be it for the announcements today. If you want more, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow.